A wonderful grandmother, 93-year-old Liz Diachin, is severing a few lots off of her longtime family farm to give them to her kids and grandkids so that they can have a place to live in this terrible housing crisis. She was surprised to learn she's going to be paying this latest liberal tax increase. She was asked, are you rich? She said, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm on a pension. Mr. Speaker, will the finance minister amend her bill so that low-income grandmothers who are passing on a little bit of land for their kids to live on will not be hit by this tax increase? Uh, the Honourable Minister of Finance, Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I want to share another quote. The wealthiest 1% who own the most expensive and luxurious real estate and have in their portfolios the most stocks and bonds will continue to see their net worth expand, having done nothing, by the way, nothing, by the way, to deserve that expanded net worth. When they sell those assets, they accrue a capital gain. We think more of it should be taxed. That's a quote from the member from Carleton, but that was when he was being a fake populist. The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. Mr. Speaker, Liz Diachin is not among those wealthy 1% the member just described. She has a pension of probably, I'm guessing, $45,000 a year. She's a grandmother who's simply trying to sever off a few lots so that her kids and her grandkids can have a place to live. Those lots have enough value that they will be hit by capital gains tax, and they're over $250,000. So she will pay this, she will pay us the 66% tax. So very simple question. Will the minister amend the law so that this wonderful grandmother does not have to pay higher taxes? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. Conservative leader is a little bit confused because she squeaky today. seemed to think that those were my words I quoted. I was in fact quoting him. Oh. I was quoting his words about the wealthiest 1% and their stock portfolios and luxury real estate. But that was back when the Conservative leader was pretending to be a friend of working people. He was pretending to be on the side of the little guy. Yesterday we learned that is just not true, but we are on the side of fairness. The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. Mr. Speaker, it is true that this government has uh, unjustly enriched the wealthiest 1% with their inflationary policies. So let's just make sure that no one else pays the bill for that. Will the minister accept an amendment to her proposal to ensure that the 99% of lowest income earners do not pay this tax increase. So this wonderful grandmother does not have to pay pay the the bill. The Honourable Government House Leader. The Leader opposite has spent the entire question period talking about electricians and farmers and fishers and carpenters. Yes, hardworking Canadians. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, The leader opposite cites electricians, carpenters, plumbers. Mr. Speaker, I come from family, as do many of us, of farmers and electricians and people who bring home a T4 slip at the end of the year. Those people who earn an honest paycheck, what do they expect from their government? They expect tax fairness. We are asking all those who pay 200, who, who gain $250,000 on their investments in a given year, 0.13% of the population to pay a little bit more. I don't know any electricians who are in that category, Mr. Speaker. That's because you don't know very many electricians in The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. Well, if that were true, then they would be prepared to put in writing in the law that no farmer, 
fisher, or electrician will pay any new tax under this increase. Will they? The Honourable Government House Leader. What will be in the law is that anyone who makes a capital gain over $250,000, the first $250,000 are exempt, 50% inclusion rate. Over $250,000 in a given year will pay 66%. That's less than Brian Mulroney asked them to pay, and it gets us closer to the fairness that who, you know who's asking for? The electricians, the farmers. The That's teachers, right. the nurses, the fishers, the people in Canada who expect us to stand up for tax fairness and against that! What the heck was that?